Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Tenorshare and their Rei Boot software, which is now 70% discount for iPhone users to celebrate the upcoming iPhone 12 and iOS 14 release. You can find links in the description. Rei Boot can help you fix so many iOS issues, such as stuck on a boot loop, Apple logo, or any other issue. Rei Boot can help you fix it. Again, 70% off for iPhone users. The links will be in the description and down below. Hey, what is up, guys? I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about about iOS 14.1. Yes, in this video, I want to give you a quick preview of what to expect with Apple's upcoming update for iOS 14. And yes, iOS 14.0 hasn't even been released to the public as of yet. But keep in mind, Apple has to continue working on the software to continue improving it and expected release dates for iOS 14.0 could be as early as next week. So as Apple releases iOS 14 to the general public, most likely on the 17th or 18th next week, we could see the first beta for iOS 14.1. And in this video, I wanted to share with you guys some of the latest features that could be coming to the software here in the next couple of weeks with the next beta, iOS 14.1 beta 1. So let's start off with Siri. Now Siri with iOS 14 received an update. However, Apple's idea for Siri is to be more user friendly. For example, if you invoke Siri within the OS, you should be able to interact with the software as you use Siri. As of right now, that is not possible. So Apple is definitely looking for ways that you can interact with the software as Siri answers your questions. So for example, if you want to take notes of something, you can't really do that because once you tap on the screen, Siri will disappear. So definitely Apple is looking to improve Siri UI with iOS 14.1 and hopefully things work the right way and we see new improvements to Siri overall because as we know, Siri sometimes isn't the most intelligent assistant out there. But anyway, next up, I want to talk about widgets. Now, widgets on the home screen is a new feature with iOS 14, but there's a whole lot of other possibilities with this feature. So for example, if we head on over here to the widget panel, Apple could be adding maybe toggles to the widget panel. And here is a quick concept right here. So there's Wi-Fi toggles, maybe cellular option toggles, could be platters on the home screen instead of just having applications and other functions like battery, right? So if we have battery widgets, why not have toggle widgets? That way you don't have to always go into control center to find your best widget or uh, the widget that you use the most. Now this one is more of a wish list feature than it is something that Apple is working on, but definitely a great concept and idea that Apple should really consider with iOS 14.1. Now, up next is software updates, AirPods. AirPods Pro should be receiving additional updates within the next iOS 14.1 alongside the new iPhones. We should see even new AirPods Studio be rolled out. So that means new software updates across the board should be coming for AirPods, AirPods Pro, and whatever Apple releases next, which is rumored to be the AirPod Studios. Now, last but not least, what we could expect with iOS 14.1 as well is new emojis with the latest software. Now, Apple has already registered a few new emojis, as you can see here. I'll link this in the description down below, but we can find new emojis such as tamales, piñatas, ninjas, coins, etc. You can see them all right here, and Apple is definitely looking to add more emojis to the keyboard of the iPhone, and this could definitely be coming with iOS 14.1. Now, let me know in the comments down below, is there a feature that Apple did not add to iOS 14 that you would wish that they would add to 14.1? Let me know in those comments down below. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.